كما يحب ربنا ويرضاه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدًا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم وعلى آله وأصحابه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد Dear respectable, dear respectable chairman, honorable board members, general manager and principal, Sheikh Abdullah Jama, esteemed teachers, honorable parents, Daru Tarthil Huffaz, and honorable guests. On behalf of Abu Huraira Center, I welcome you all to our fourth annual Daru Tarthil graduation at Abu Huraira Center, and I greet you with the Islamist greeting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for allowing us to facilitate this blessed event. I would like to thank all those involved in organizing this ceremony. May Allah reward you and increase you. I would like to thank everyone in attendance right now for taking the time off your busy schedules to join us today. May Allah reward you and increase you as well. We are here today to witness and congratulate five of our students for their efforts in achieving this great feat of the completion of the Quran. May Allah reward them and their families and increase them as well. Congratulations to our graduates of 2017 Daru Tartil. We are all proud of you. There will be lectures by our esteemed guests and, pre and presentations by some of our current students. Before we begin the ceremony, let me remind you to turn your cell phones to silent mode and be courteous to those around you by refraining from talking. During the presentation of graduates, we encourage you to express your joy by making dua for the students. Jazakumullah khaira. And now with our first speech and first session for today will be our guest from the UK, Sheikh Muhammad Ali. And he will be talking to us about the Quran and the virtues and the virtue of the Hafad and so on and so forth. Falitafadal mashkura. بسم الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My brothers and sisters in Islam I don't really know where to begin because I'm really really overwhelmed to be present here tonight and to be a, a guest of honor and to be among my brothers and sisters that I love so much here in Abu Huraira Masjid and in Toronto. And also Dara Tarti, the great students that we have here, as well as the mashaykh and the teachers who look after these, mashallah, wonderful children, as well as the beautiful parents and the amazing parents who are supporting, mashallah, Dara Tarti and the Masjid and the young brothers and sisters who are learning the Quran. I just don't know, words cannot really describe what I have in my heart. And sometimes I feel I'm not eloquent enough to express the feeling that I have inside me. I wish that I had that ability to express. My brothers and sisters in Islam, we have been handpicked. This is a qadr from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has destined that we were going to be here today and tonight, and to witness this amazing event, and say that I was there, I was part of it, I was the one who completed the Quran, I was the parent of that child, to say I was the teacher of that child, and to say I was someone who was present, and mashallah, helping out is, is a great blessing. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written this 50,000 years, just pay attention to this, 50,000 years before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the heavens and the earth. That's when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has destined that we were going to be here tonight at this very particular moment. And subhanallah, here we are right now. My brothers and sisters in Islam, the event that we are here for that all of us know is to, to congratulate our young brothers and sisters 
who have been studying the Quran, the words of Allah, for the past couple of years, for the past few months, and some of them Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has destined for them to become a father of Quran. Allahu Akbar. This is a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not everyone is able to do it. But some people, alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose them to be among these elite group. Those who will memorize the whole Quran. And brothers and sisters in Islam, I'm speaking to you as someone who has memorized the Quran. It has a special feeling. When you know that you have completed the Quran, I cannot, I cannot relate to you, I cannot convey to you how I felt the day I have memorized the Quran. It was a while back. If I tell you when I have completed the Quran, how long, that, how long ago that was, some of you will find out how old I am, you know? <laughs> some of you think I'm a bit young now, but you will find out if I tell you when I completed the Quran, you will find out how ancient I am, you know? So it's like too old. So this was a while back, only like how many years ago? SubhanAllah, maybe about, maybe about 24 years ago. That was the time, alhamdulillah, that I have completed the Quran. So I remember how happy I was that day. I remember how proud my teacher was. I remember how proud my parents was, especially my mother was with me that time. And my father has heard the news as well. He was, he was back home, he was in the UK, and I was not there that time. I was back home in Bur'a. How many of you know where Bur'a is? Uh, that's, where, that's where I completed the Quran, mashallah. I was in, Bur in Bur'a when I completed the Quran. But the people who have completed the Quran in Canada, here in Abu Huraira Masjid, in this part of the world, at this particular time, you guys, you are much better than me. I can tell you that. The brothers and the sisters, who have been able to complete the Quran in Dar al Tartil in 2017, 2016, 2015, you guys, you are a lot better than I was when I have completed the Quran. You are much better than me. Because when I completed the Quran, I had the opportunity to, I had the time to do it. But you guys here, subhanAllah, you are living at a different era. You are living at a different place, in a different place. It's a lot harder to memorize the Quran over here. But Alhamdulillah, you have done it. And what you have achieved is far more greater than what I have achieved myself. So I want to congratulate you and say to you, well done to all of you brothers and sisters in Islam. And just as a word of encouragement, I want to say, I want to, say to the young brothers who are, and the sisters who are learning the Quran now. Some of you maybe have finished five juz of the Quran. Some of you are thinking about it now. Some of you have completed and ten juz of the Quran. Some of you are on the way to finish the Quran soon, inshallah ta'ala. And some of you have already finished. But let me tell you the journey you are upon right now, the journey that you have undertaken is a blessed journey. Number one, to learn the whole Quran and know the whole Quran off by heart is the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he's the first person to complete the whole Quran. No one has completed the Quran more than before the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was the first hafiz. Who was the first hafiz of our ummah? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was the first one. And you are following his footsteps. You are following the footsteps of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when you complete the Quran. You're going to be part of that elite group. And number one was the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then the companions came. And then the tabi'un came. And tabi'un tabi Until today, people are memorizing the Quran. So you are part of that elite group. Also, if you memorize the Quran, the Quran is, gonna, is going to be a reason for you to be saved from the hellfire. It's amazing. SubhanAllah, the Quran is going to come in the hereafter and the Quran will intercede for the people who are Ahlul Quran, the people who have memorized the Quran, the people who have been practicing and, and learning the meaning of the Quran and then practicing it, the Quran will intercede for you. Also, the people who have learned the Quran, what's going to happen is the level or the rank in paradise, the stage in paradise that they're going to get to is going to be higher because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us the person who memorized the Quran, he or she will be said to them, read, recite, and then climb up. And then you will end up in the place where the last ayah that you recite, imagine someone 
who's able to recite five juz of the Quran off by heart. How far will they go? Imagine someone who can recite 10 juz of the Quran off by heart in Jannah. Imagine someone who can recite 15 juz out of, from the heart in, the, in paradise. Imagine the person who can read the whole Quran. It's over 6,000 over 6, verses of the Quran. When you recite it off by heart, and subhanallah, look how much, mashallah, how far you're going to get in paradise. Also, I want to remind myself and you as well, when you memorize the Quran, do you know who will accompany you? You're going to have a special company with you. And those special company that you're going to have, special friends that will be with you. And these are as-safarah, al-kiram, al-barara. Certain special angels will be with the people who have memorized the Quran, the people who learn the Quran, the people who try and learn the meaning of the Quran, as well as practicing the Quran. Also, my brothers and sisters in Islam, when you have memorized the Quran, young people, do you know when you become half of the Quran, what's going to happen is you're going to lead the Salah. And look, sometimes you are only maybe 15 years old, you might be 14 years old, you might be only like 17 years old, and there are many people in the masjid. When people say, who's going to lead the Salah, they're going to look at who has memorized the most Quran. And you could be younger than everybody else. And then the people will say, you know it more than anybody else. Therefore, you need to go ahead of everybody else and lead the salah. Look at what a great honor. How did you get that honor? It's not because how old you are. It, it's about how much, how, how, mashallah, that you are. You know most of the Quran. And that's another blessing when you have memorized the Quran. Also, inshallah ta'ala, because of the time, I don't want to take much of your time. And I want to give a word of of encouragement to the parents. Parents, subhanallah, it is very, very important. When I told you that, when I memorized the Quran and I said to you I was back home in Bur'a, my mom has, she has put a lot of effort in me memorizing the Quran. Do you think I wanted to memorize the Quran? I didn't want to memorize the Quran. I was trying to avoid that. Okay, but my parents, my mom, she was pushing me to memorize the Quran. So the parents' effort is very, very important. Do not think if your child is resisting and doesn't want to learn the Quran, doesn't want to memorize the Quran, it doesn't mean you leave the child and say, Khalas, he doesn't want it, so I'm going to go. Try and help that child. Try and encourage them. Give them something. Mashallah, promise, mashallah, give them prizes. Say to them, if you achieve this, I'm going to give you this. Give them incentives that will help them learn the Quran. So this is how my mom used to help me. And she would say to me, if you go to the mosque, if you learn the Quran, if you come, I'm going to give you this, I'm going to give you that. And my teacher, my Quran teacher, he was the biggest one. Do you know what he used to do? My Quran teacher, the Quran teachers are sitting here. And I want to say this to the Quran teachers. Do you know, don't just wait for the, for the parents to give incentives or great things to the child who's learning the Quran. The ma'alims, the teachers are very, very important. You know what my teacher used to do with me? Because as I was learning the Quran, what our teacher used to do is, because we were young that time, the teacher would actually say to us, he would speak to a restaurant owner, and he would say, any of my students who are memorizing the Quran, if they come to the restaurant, let them eat whatever they want, and the money is on me. Who used to say that? The ma'alim who's teaching us the Quran. That's what the ma'alim used to say. If, my, if the students who's learning the Quran, if my students come to you, the students who are doing the Quran memorization, if they come to the restaurant and they want to eat something, let them eat what they want to eat and let them go. I am going to take care of the bill. Said, Abdullah, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> I feel sorry. <laughs> you already knew that. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> So the list is going to make sure that they, they don't, don't take them to, like, just think about it, inshallah ta'ala. So that's number one. So it's very, very important, inshallah ta'ala, that we give our children incentive and when they're learning the Quran. And I said the other night, how can we lay, mashallah, Dr. Abu Amir, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve him and give him all the khair of this dunya and akhirah, Allahumma ameen. Dictor, one of the things he was, the slogan he was telling us is, how can we make education fun? Subhanallah. I gave this example, Umar ibn al-Khattab, Amir al-Mu'mineen, radiallahu anhu, when he was the leader of the believers, when he was Amir al-Mu'mineen, do you know 
the government, the budget, the budget, part of the budget, he used to allocate for students who were learning the Quran. And he would say, the students who are learning the Quran, this is for them. A special amount or a special part of the budget for the, for the whole ummah, for the whole, mashallah, government, part of it used to be given to the Hafaz al Quran. And look what sometimes used to happen. When they take their portion, when they, after they take their own portion, if there was a surplus, if there was extra money that was left over for that year, do you know who Umar used to give? He used to give to the Hufad al-Quran. He used to say, this is for the students of Quran. That's how, that's how Umar used to encourage people to learn the Quran, the youngsters to learn the Quran. So it's very, very important, mashallah. I want to say to the parents, however much money you're putting in, don't, don't think that this is kind of like too much. Say this is, mashallah, an investment. I'm helping my child, I'm helping myself, I'm helping the Ummah of uh, the Ummah uh, Islamiyah to, to have people who have learned the Quran and people who are going to be the future leaders of our Ummah, inshallah ta'ala. So finally, I want to say to the parents, when your child is learning the Quran and is doing hifth and they're going to memorize a lot of the Quran, this should be something that helps or this should be something that creates a relationship, a special relationship. I want to say this to you. The students who learn the Quran and their parents, they form a very special relationship. When, do, when does that happen? That happens when the parent becomes very active. And when the parent becomes proactive, when the parent becomes, mashallah, active in helping the child learn the Quran. Imagine when you support your child to learn the Quran and you listen to them before they come to the mosque and you help them out, you memorize with them, or sometimes you listen to them before they come to the mosque. That is going to build a very special relationship. I remember, I remember, after I completed the Quran, my father used to help me out a lot. By how? He used to help me, not just about the madrasa. What did he used to do? I used to, I used to recite, I used to recite to him daily, on a daily basis. I would recite, and this is in the UK, okay? This is in the UK. Daily, I used to recite to him one juz. And then every 30 days, I would finish the Quran. Every 30 days, I would finish the Quran once. Who am I reading to? I'm reading to my father. And then after I become more proficient in the Quran and memorization got stronger, my father would say to me, recite two just to me a day. And I used to recite two just to him every single day. After that, as a parent, don't just say, the ma'alim is, is gonna do everything. The parent have to do their bit. And then after I did that, after a while, my father said to me, you need to recite to me three juz a day. What happened? Me and my father, we became closer and closer and closer because we are always dealing with the Quran. So it's very, very important. So inshallah ta'ala, I want to say to the parents, the mothers and the fathers, always be there for your child, help them out. And the youngsters, when they memorize the Quran, their, their, their brain becomes stronger and they become intelligent in everything, inshallah ta'ala. And I want to say to the parents who their children are learning the Quran, congratulations to all of you. And anyone who's thinking about it right now, do not hesitate. Don't wait for it. Make sure that your child joins the mosque. For example, Dar al Bring them here. Let them learn the Quran. And inshallah ta'ala, help them out. And inshallah ta'ala, I wish I could have said a lot more. But because of the time, I want to, inshallah ta'ala, keep my mouth shut. ta'ala, and just stop talking. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you all greatly. And may, may we all meet in Jannah al Firdaus al A'la. I'm sorry, Sheikh Abdullah, that I'm going to cost you a bit of money, <laughs> inshallah ta'ala. But make sure, inshallah ta'ala, that your Hifz Quran students will be going to the restaurants all over the, all over the city. And they will say, our ma'alim will take care of it. <laughs> okay, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khairan, Sheikh Muhammad Ali. Next, I would like to call upon our principal of Dar al-Tirtil Hifth program, Brother Hassan Ibrahim, falitafadl mashkura. Bismillah wa salatu salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'd, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Inshallah, I will uh, try to be as brief as possible. Uh, just want to go through, for those who might not know, La'ba Tar Tartil, and for those who know, to encourage it a bit to be part of it, inshallah. Uh, this is our fourth graduation ceremony. Uh, 
group that's graduating from Abu Huraira, uh, Dar al Til. And alhamdulillah, with this group, I believe uh, is 27 or 28. Just forgot my note in there. Who graduated for the last four years. So this is the fourth year that we're continuing. And this program is one of our flagship programs that we're proud of in the masjid. And that we put a lot of emphasis and try to develop it as much as possible. All these students that you see sitting there, these are your future hafad, inshallah, of the masjid. You can see them very young, some of them. And the youngest, I believe, is seven. And, and the oldest is 13 that we have now, or 14, except those, these older brothers who are graduating today. <laughs> and alhamdulillah, we try always to develop an enhanced program. Uh, this year, we have uh, 54 students who registered in three different classes in different levels, of course, from the beginners and the intermediate and the advanced class. And next graduation ceremony will be a bigger number, inshallah, you will see. It, it seems that always the odd years as a number is a lower number than the even years. Uh, last year, we have 11 graduating. So, from the things that we're trying to enhance within Dari Taltil is also uh, not only teach the kids the Quran, which is the emphasis that Dari Taltil always emphasizes on uh, the proper tajweed, the proper makharij, that the kids are very comfortable to be able to read and recite in a very uh, high level as possible with them and alongside the hit. But also this year, we keep every year increasing the amount of Islamic studies that we try to insert on the kids, the amount of akhlaq and adab that we try to insert in them. The good thing, the advantage that we have is the kids are very young. So what they're young, it's very easy to put more Quran on them and less of the Islamic rulings because as they grow older, they will learn that. When they're young, you don't need to explain too much of the deen. You need to give them the basics and give them the akhlaqiyat and adab more so than the actual ilm. As they grow older and they memorize the Quran, it's very easy for them to learn the deen. It's very easy for them to be comfortable to understand what the Quran means. So, for those brothers who always see that there is no point of memorizing Quran if you don't understand it, some aspect, this is true to that statement, but at the same time, the blessing of memorizing the Quran is very high and the blessing of understanding it will come afterwards as well. So when you teach them a young age, the Quran, when you insert in them, it is the opportunity that you have when they're young. And as Sheikh Muhammad said, learning it here in these countries that we live in where everything is almost against you, it is a bigger achievement and inshallah bigger reward for the parents and the child who be steadfast also things that we enhance on is that for the teachers the more training for them to understand the students we try to uh, for example a small little changes that we do in the first agenda there's always agenda we give to the kids of if they pass that day or didn't pass and, and the parents will sign it off so the parents follows the progress the daily progress so we used to have fa pass fail we end up changing that word fail because there's no failure in the Quran. Pass or did not pass. So at least, and the teachers also, we compiling a profile of every child. Every child comes from a different household, different houses at different places. There's kids with bigger families, smaller families, uh, parents who are a little bit lean, parents who are a bit strict. All that plays in the fact that to try to encourage the kid and try them to love the Quran more that the Quran becomes a burden on them. On top of that, when you see their teachers, Sheikh Abdullah, uh, Sir Bilal, and Sir Zaki, we're here playing soccer with them and playing games with them in the break time. And as a matter of fact, for those who finish the Quran early and the memorization, the new lesson and the review, they finish early that day, they go to the you know, PS4 room and play game for the last hour of the day. Just to give them relaxation, they look forward. And trust me, it works. They end up, some of them, you know, uh, finishing just to have the opportunity to relax. So, the point is, uh, we don't have to make memorize the Quran a burden. It could be a fun experience while they're learning, and the best gift that you could give your child is to be good in the Quran at a young age and build that confidence. When we see older parents today coming to us, Brother 
I really want to learn the Quran. I want to learn how to read first at a 30, 40, 50 years. A, you missed all these years rewards. All these years rewards of memorizing or reading the Quran. It's not even memorizing, just knowing how to read it. You, the Friday only in the masjid. So this is a gift better than any other gift that any parent living in North America or anywhere in the world could give their child. So we encourage you highly, personally, and I feel personal about this, to encourage you, inshallah, to put your kids in the health programs. You have the opportunity, especially with the young, uh, start from age seven, eight, nine, and up. The best age we see always is from age 80 years old, and up is a really good age, inshallah, to start from. So we encourage you, unless you have those gifted uh, six or seven years old, inshallah. Jazakum Allah khair, barakallahu fikum, we'll continue with the rest of the program. Jazakallahu khairan, brother Hassan. Now with our next part of the ceremony will be the Quran recitation of the graduates. Brothers and sisters, we are gathered today to celebrate the achievements of our new Hufad. And now I would like to call upon Rohsha ibn Sajid and his father up here to the table in the seats. And for the mother, there's a designated chair in the sister's side. Rohsha ibn Sajid and his father, you guys can call, come up on the table. And for his mother, there's a de designated chair in the sister's side. أعوذ بالله من الش أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا قاتلوا الذين يلونكم من الكفار وليجدوا فيكم غلظة وَعَلَمُوا أَنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَ الْمُتَّقِينَ وَإِذَا مَا أُنْزِلَتْ سُورَةٌ فَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَقُولُ أَيُّكُمْ زَادَتْهُ هَذِهِ إِيمَانًا فَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا فَزَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا وَهُمْ يَسْتَبْشِرُونَ وَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَضٌ فَزَادَتْهُمْ رِجِسًا إِلَى رِجِسِهِمْ وَمَاتُوا وَهُمْ كَافِرُونَ أَوَلَا يَرَوْنَ أَنَّهُمْ يُفْتَنُونَ فِي كُلِّ عَامٍ مَرَّةً أَوْ مَرَّتَيْنِ ثُمَّ لَا يَتُوبُونَ وَلَا هُمْ يَذَّكَّرُونَ وَإِذَا مَا أُنْزِلَتْ سُورَةٌ نَظَرَ بَعْضُهُمْ إِلَى بَعْضٍ هَلْ يَرَاكُمْ مِنْ أَحَدٍ ثُمَّ انصَرَفُوا صَرَفَ اللَّهُ قُلُوبَهُمْ بِأَنَّهُمْ قَوْمٌ لَا يَفْقَهُونَ بِأَنَّهُمْ قَوْمٌ لَا يَفْقَهُونَ لقد جاءكم رسول من أنفسكم عزيز عليه ما عنتم حريص عليكم حريص عليكم بالمؤمنين رؤوف رحيم فإن تولوا فقل حسبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم ما شاء الله تبارك الله جزاك الله خيرا رحشة بن ساجد may the father remain seated now I would like to call upon his brother يوشع بن ساجد ما شاء الله this year we have two brothers who completed the memorization of the Quran
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ثمانية أزواج من الطأن اثنين ومن المعز اثنين قل آذكرين حرم أم الأنثيين أم اشتملت عليه أرحام الأنثيين نبئوني بعلم إن كنتم صادقين ومن الإبل اثنين ومن البقر اثنين قل آذكرين حرم أم الأنثيين أم اشتملت عليه أرحام الأنثيين أم كنتم شهداء إذ وصاكم الله بهذا فمن أظلم ممن افترى على الله كذبا ليضل الناس بغير علم إن الله لا يهدي القوم الظالمين قل لا أجد فيما أوحي إلي محرما على طاعم يطعمه إلا إلا أن يكون ميتة أو دما مسفوحا أو لحم خنزير أو دما مسفوحا أو لحم خنزير فإنه رجس أو فسقا أهل لغير الله أهل لغير الله به فمن اضطر غير باغ ولا عاد فإن ربك غفور رحيم وعلى الذين هادوا حرمنا كل ذي ظفر ومن البقر والغنم حرمنا عليهم شحومهما إلا ما حملت إلا ما حملت ظهورهما أو الحوايا أو ما اختلط بعض ذلك جزيناهم ببغيهم وإنا لصادقون ما شاء الله تبارك الله جزاك الله خيرا يوشع and his father now with our next hafid I would like to call upon Warfa Ismail with their parents to render us with the recitation from the Quran السلام عليكم ورحمة الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ولو أن لكل نفس ظلمت ما في الأرض لفتدت به وأسر الندامة لما رأوا العذاب وقضي بينهم بالقسط وهم لا يظلمون ألا إن لله ما في السماوات والأرض ألا إن وعد الله حق ولكن أكثرهم لا يعلمون هو يحيي ويميت هو يحيي ويميت وإليه ترجعون يا أيها الناس قد جاءتكم موعظة من ربكم وشفاء لما في الصدور وهدى ورحمة للمؤمنين قل بفضل الله وبرحمته فبذلك فليفرحوا فبذلك فليفرحوا هو خير مما 
ما يجمعون قل أرأيتم ما أنزل الله لكم من رزق فجعلتم منه حراما فجعلتم منه حراما وحلالا قل آه الله أذن لكم أم على الله تفترون وما ظن الذين يفترون على الله الكذب يوم القيامة إن الله لذو فضل على الناس ولكن أكثرهم لا يشكرون وما تكون في شأن وما تتلو منه من قرآن ولا تعملون ولا تعملون من عمل إلا كنا عليكم شهودا إذ تفيضون فيه وما يعزب عن ربك من مثقال ذرة في الأرض ولا في السماء ولا أصغر ولا أصغر إلا في كتاب مبين ما شاء الله تبارك الله جزاك الله خيرا ورفا and his parents now I would like to call on our next حافظة from the sister side Sister Khadija Khalafallah. Inshallah, she's going to be reading from her side, but I would like to call her father to come sit up right here with us. Just give us a second, Sister Khadija. <coughs> Whenever you're ready, sister. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تبارك الذي جعل في السماء بروجا وجعل فيها سراجا وجعل فيها سراجا وقمرا منيرا وهو الذي جعل الليل والنهار خلفة لمن أراد أن يذكر أو أراد شكورا وعباد الرحمن الذين يمشون على الأرض هونا وإذا خاطبهم الجاهلون قالوا سلاما والذين يبيتون لربهم سجدا وقياما والذين يقولون ربنا اصرف عنا عذاب جهنم إن عذابها كان غراما إنها ساءت مستقرا ومقاما والذين إذا أنفقوا لم يسرفوا ولم يقتلوا وكان بين ذلك قواما والذين لا يدعون مع الله إلها آخر ولا يقتلون النفس التي حرم الله إلا بالحق ولا يزنون ومن يفعل ذلك يلقى أثاما يضاف له العذاب يوم القيامة ويخلد فيه مهانا إلا من تاب وآمن وعمل عملا صالحا فأولئك فأولئك يبدل الله سيئاتهم حسنات وكان الله غفورا رحيما ومن تاب وعمل صالحا فإن 
إنه يتوب إلى الله متابا والذين لا يشهدون الزور وإذا مروا باللغو مروا كراما والذين إذا ذكروا بآيات ربهم لم يقروا عليها صما وعميانا والذين يقولون ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة أعين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما أولئك يجزون الغرفة بما صبروا ويلقون فيها تحية وسلاما خالدين فيها حسنت مستقرا ومقاما قل ما يعبأ بكم ربي لولا دعاؤكم فقد كذبتم فسوف يكون لزاما ما شاء الله تبارك الله تكبير تكبير جزاك الله خيرا جزاك الله خيرا for our hafaz for the beautiful recitation see uh, Khadija has a special place for us you know she literally grew up in this masjid so يعني she already خلاص today grown to be sitting here but we cannot express how proud we are of her. She just have a special place. May Allah bless her and her family. Barakallah fiha. Jazakum Allah khairan for all the hufaz for the beautiful recitation. And now we'll proceed to our next session. I would like to call upon the student Sahel Nazmas and Ruhsha Ibn Sajid for a presentation of Surat Balad and its translation. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. In alhamdulillah, in ahmaduhu, when a sa'inu, when a stalfiru, when I was a bill, he means shuri and fusina, women say yat ya malina. May yahdi la who fella mudulla who women yudlil fella had yella. Why should we la ila hail law who had the hula sharikala, when the Mohammed and Abduhu or Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We thank you all for coming today and we hope that you enjoy this presentation that we're about to do. What we're going to do today is um, hear the recitation of Surah Al-Balad and translate it ayah by ayah. And now we will be telling you the description of the surah. The surah begins with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala making an oath in the name of a city. That city is Mecca. This surah reminds us of some important facts in our lives. Everyone is created to have difficulties, but no one can overcome them without the help, uh, without hard work, and that cannot be done without the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The surah also reminds us, the surah also reminds us of the two paths, the path of righteousness, which may be difficult, but it has, which, which it, but it has lots of rewards, and the path of evil. That may be lots of fun, but it leads to destruction and punishment. Now that you have heard the description, let's begin. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I seek refuge in Allah from the Awka Shaytan in the name of Allah the most beneficent the most merciful لا أقسم بهذا البلد I swear by the city Mecca and you are free of restriction in this city. And by the begetter Adam and that which he begot, his progeny. Verily, we have created man into hardship. Does he think that no, none can overcome him? He says boastfully, I have wasted wealth and abundance. 
أيحسم أن لم يره أحد. Does he think that no one sees him? ألم نجعل له عينين. Have we not made for him two eyes? ولسانا وشفتين. And a tongue and two lips. وهديناه النجدين. And shown him the two the two ways, good and evil. But he has not attempted to pass on the path that is steep, the path which will lead to goodness and success. And what will make you know the path that is steep? It is freeing a slave. How would I translate? Or giving food on a day of hunger. To an orphan near of kin, or to a miskin, needy, cleaving to dust out of misery. Then being among those who believed and recommended one another to compassion and also recommended one another to patience. They are those on the right, the dwellers of paradise. But those who disbelieved in our ayats, proofs, signs, revelations, they are those on the left, the dwellers of hell. The fire will be shut over them with no opening. ما شاء الله تبارك الله جزاك الله خيرا سهل نازمس and رحشد نسابد did for the beautiful presentation and translation of سورة البلد. ما شاء الله تبارك الله. Now we will proceed to our next session. I would like to call upon our guest. Dr. Abu Amina Bilal Phillips to share with us some words. Falitafadl Mashkura. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Actually, my brother Muhammad Ali has already said all the words, so <laughs> there's nothing left for me to say. <laughs> but uh, alhamdulillah, um, I'm proud to be a part of this occasion, and I do wish the best for those who have graduated uh, as among the Hufad and their parents, their families that have supported them. And uh, alhamdulillah, it is very good to see the concern that the masjid and the HIF program here at Dar Tartil, you know, has about understanding the Quran while studying. And this is very important uh, that uh, even if it takes a little extra time, we try to give uh, more of the meaning as the students are studying, meaning which is appropriate to their level of understanding. It may slow the program down a bit, but it will link the students more to the Quran, uh, because that memorization uh, is, is a support. It is making the Quran accessible, and ultimately it is for the understanding and the practice of the Quran. Uh, another thing I think that, alhamdulillah, that you have achieved here, which is rare in the, in the Muslim world today, and that is those who have memorized the Quran without a stick. <laughs> right? This is history in the making here. Because when I've gone to different parts of, of the Muslim world and I told people, listen, you got to get rid of these sticks. You know? When I put my sons and uh, daughters in the memorization. And I tried to talk to the teachers and tell them, no, no sticks. They said, oh, you can, I can't learn without a stick. 
I said, surely it's possible. There's, there's some other ways, you know. They said, you tell me, you show me. Where, where in the world are students memorizing the Quran without a stick? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, it's happening here at Abu Huraira. And it should be documented. No, really, I'm serious. I mean, we can laugh about it. But at the same time, you know, there's a lot of damage being done in different parts of the Muslim world because they have not taken the time to go back to the prophetic way of learning the Quran, which is without a stick. Prophet Muhammad taught his ummah, the sahaba, and he wasn't hitting any of them, you know. So we do need to document this, you know, interview the students, let them express how it is they were motivated to learn, their parents, the teachers, you know, as something we can take back to the rest of the ummah. You know, that you are in the forefront, mashallah, Allah keep you in that position as all who will follow you, you will get their reward. Man sanna sunnatan hasana, whoever starts that good sunnah gets the reward of everyone who follows it. So mashallah, you all are part of setting a new sunnah for the ummah and inshallah the ummah will follow. Barakallah fikum. جزاكم الله خير السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته جزاك الله خير ان دكتور أمينة بيلان فيليبس now we will proceed to our next session of the ceremony and it's the Certificate Awards Ceremony. Dear brothers and sisters, we are gathered today to celebrate the achievements of a group of exceptionally talented individuals. This is the part that everyone has been waiting for. Inshallah, I would like to start calling up the names. Okay, first I would like to call up the shiuch, the respected guests, Brother Muhammad, Bilal Phillips, and uh, Sheikh Qasim. And uh, brother Sheikh Abu Nuh, Salatu Fadl Mashkura. And I would, I would like to call upon the teachers, uh, brother Zakin, and brother Bilal as well. Hassan, please, yes. Yes, Muhammad Hassan will be coming. Well, uh, an esteemed teacher. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Inshallah, we will begin our certificate award ceremony. And our first hafid, I would like to call upon Ruhsha ibn Sajid. Fali tafaddal mashkura. Shahada to hifd al-Quran al-Kareem kamilan. Certificate of the memorization of the complete noble Quran. Alhamdulillahi wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillahi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. يشهد دار الترتيل في مركز أبي هريرة بتورنتو كندا بأن الطالب رحشة بن ساجد قد تم بعون الله وتوفيقه القرآن الكريم كاملا حفظا وتجويدا برواية حفظ عن عاصم و
والدار إذ تمنحه هذه الشهادة وتوصيه بتقوى الله تعالى والمثابرة على تلاوة كتابه والعمل به والدعوة إليه ونسأل المولى عز وجل له التوفيق والسداد Daru Tartil of Abu Huraira Center based in Toronto, Canada witnesses that the student Rahshah ibn Sajid has completed with the help and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the memorization of the Noble Quran with its correct and eloquent recitation according to the transmission of Hafs from Asim. Daru Tartil in giving him this certificate advises him with the piety of Allah the continuation of recitation of the book acting upon it and inviting to it. We ask Allah to grant him success and keep him steadfast. Amen. Now I would like to call upon his father. Inna hadha kana lakum jazaan wa kana sa'yukum mashkura. Shahada to shukran wa taqdeer, Certificate of Appreciation and Recognition Ila walid wa walidat al-talib Ruhsha ibn Sajid Hafidahum Allah wa ra'ahuma Alhamdulillahi wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillahi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man walah Yubariku lakum daru al-tartil fi markaz Abi Huraira bi Toronto, Canada Al-injaz al-kabir al-lazhi haqqaqahu waladakum bi imamihi hifz al-Quran al-Karim kamilan Wa hadha yadulla ala hirsikum wa mutabaatikum lah وعلى حب وإصرار ابنكم على حفظ كتاب الله تعالى نسأل المولى عز وجل أن يجعله قرة عين لكم وأن يجعل القرآن العظيم ربيع قلبه إنه ولي التوفيق Dear respected parents Mirza Sajid Rabbani and Humaira Sajid Rabbani Daru Tartil of Abu Huraira Center based in Toronto congratulates you for the illustrious achievement that your son has fulfilled of memorizing the entirety of the Quran by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we are in depth in appreciation to you for your support and continued dedication and your son's love and eagerness to memorize the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make your son the coolness of your eyes and to make the Quran the light of his heart. Indeed, he alone is the owner of success. Now, next, I would like to call upon his brother, Yusha ibn Sajid. Shahada to Hifd al Quran al Karim Kamil and Certificate of the Memorization of the, no of the Complete Noble Quran. Alhamdulillahi wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillahi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. Yashadu daru tartil fi markaz abi huraira. Bi Toronto, Canada, bi anna talib Yusha ibn Sajid qad atamma bi awndi Allahi wa tawfiqihi al-Qur'an al-Kareem kamilan hifzan wa tajweedan bi riwayati hafzan an aasim wa addaru ith tamnahu hathihi al-shahada wa tusihi bi taqwa Allahi ta'ala wa al-muthabarati ala tilawati kitabih wa al-amala bihi wa al-da'wati ilayhi wa nas'alu al-mawla azza wa jallahu al-tawfiq wa al-sadad Daru Tartil of Abu Huraira Center based in Toronto, Canada witnesses that the student Yusha ibn Sajid has completed with the help and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the memorization of the noble Quran with its correct and eloquent recitation according to the transmission of Hafs from Asim. Daru Tartil in giving him this certificate advises him with the piety of Allah the continuation of recitation of the book acting upon it and inviting to it. We ask Allah to grant him success and keep him steadfast. Read it again. Okay, guys, <laughs> relax with the takbir, not this one. Now I would like to call upon the next student, the next Hafiz, Warfa Ismail. Certificate of the Memorization of the Complete Noble Quran. Alhamdulillahi wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillahi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. Yashhadu daru tartil fi markaz Abi Huraira bi Toronto, Canada. Bi anna al-talib Warfa Ismail. قد أتم بعون الله وتوفيقه القرآن الكريم كاملا حفظا وتجويدا برواية حفص عن عاصم والدار إذ تمنحه هذه الشهادة وتوصيه بتقوى الله تعالى والمثابرة على تلاوة كتابه والعمل به والدعوة إليه 
ونسأل المولى عز وجل له التوفيق والسداد دار ترتيل في أبو هريرة Center based in Toronto, Canada witnesses that the student ورفة إسماعيل has completed with the help and blessings of Allah سبحانه وتعالى the memorization of the noble Quran with his correct and eloquent recitation according to the transmission of Hafs from Asim Daru Tartil in giving him this certificate advises him with the piety of Allah the continuation of recitation of the book acting upon it and invite him to it we ask Allah to grant him success and keep him steadfast now I would like to call upon his father إن هذا كان لكم جزاء وكان سعيكم مشكورا شهادة شكر وتقدير certificate of appreciation and recognition إلى والد ووالدة الطالب ورفا إسماعيل حفظهم الله ورعاهما الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه يبارك لكم دار الترتيل في مركز أبي هريرة بتورنتو كندا الإنجاز الكبير الذي حققه ولدكم بإمامه حفظ القرآن الكريم كاملا وهذا يدل على حرصكم ومتابعتكم له وعلى حب وإصرار ابنكم على حفظ كتاب الله تعالى نسأل المولى عز وجل أن يجعله قرة عين لكم وأن يجعل القرآن العظيم ربيع قلبه إنه ولي التوفيق Dear respected parents Muhammad Ismail and Halimo Ibrahim Daru Tartil of Abu Huraira Center based in Toronto congratulates you for the illustrious achievement that your son has fulfilled of memorizing the entirety of the Quran by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are in depth in appreciation to you for your support and continued dedication and your son's love and eagerness to memorize the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make your son the coolness of your eyes and to make the Quran the light of his heart. Indeed, he alone is the owner of success. Inshallah, with our less, uh, with, uh, sorry, with our next hafidah, Sister Khadija Khalafullah, Inshallah, the Vice Principal, Sister Qamr, will hand her her certificate and we will read it from here, Inshallah. Shahada to Hifd al Quran al Karim Kamilan, certificate of the memorization of the complete noble Quran. Alhamdulillahi wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillahi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. تشهد دار الترتيل في مركز أبي هريرة بتورنتو كندا بأن الطالبة خديجة خلف الله قد أتمت بعون الله وتوفيقه بتوفيق القرآن الكريم كاملا حفظا وتجويدا برواية حفص عن عاصم والدار إذ تمنحها هذه الشهادة وتوصيها بتقوى الله والمثابرة على تلاوة كتابه والعمل به والدعوة إليه ونسأل المولى عز وجل لها التوفيق والسداد Daru Tartil of Abu Huraira Center based in Toronto witnesses that the student Khadija Khalafallah has completed with the help and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the memorization of the noble Quran with its correct and eloquent recitation according to the transmission of Hafs from Asim. Daru Tartil in giving her this certificate advises her with the piety of Allah the continuation of recitation of the book acting upon it and inviting to it we ask Allah to grant her success and keep her steadfast. Now I would like to call upon her father. إن هذا كان لكم جزاء وكان سعيكم مشكورا شهادة شكر وتقدير certificate of appreciation and recognition إلى والد ووالدة الطالبة خديجة خلف الله حفظهم الله ورعاهما. الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه يبارك لكم دار الترتيل في مركز أبي هريرة بتورنتو كندا الإنجاز الكبير الذي حق الذي حققتها ولدكم بإمامية حفظ القرآن الكريم كاملا وهذا يدل على حرصكم ومتابعتكم لها وعلى حب وإصراركم بنتكم على حفظ كتاب الله تعالى نسأل المولى عز وجل أن يجعلها قرة عين لكم وأن يجعل القرآن العظيم ربيع قلبها إنه ولي التوفيق Dear respected parents Muhammad Khalafallah and Nasir Khalafallah Daru Tartil of Abu Huraira based in Toronto congratulates you for the illustrious achievement that your daughter has fulfilled of memorizing the entirety of the Quran by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are in depth in appreciation to you for your support and continued dedication and your daughter's love and eagerness to memorize the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make your daughter the coolness of your eyes and to make the Quran the light of her heart. Indeed, he alone is the owner of success. Jazakumullah khairan. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. We ask Allah Allah to step them fast, inshaAllah. I have one more thing though, one second. One of uh, our young Warfa's friend, he asked me to give him this. And uh, she shall be nameless, inshallah. So, but I promise that I will give it to him, inshallah. And this is a good friendship. This is the where true friends are together. And the Prophet ﷺ said, Tahadu, tahabu. Give each other gift, you will love each other, inshallah. So, I'll give him this in his behalf of his friend, inshallah. I'll tell him his friend afterwards, but not in public, inshallah. Okay. Alhamdulillah, this uh, concludes the ceremony today, inshallah. So soon we're going to pray our Isha first, and then we're going to head to dinner. I will ask all the uh, Hufaf to stay back, inshallah, with their parents. We're going to take some pictures for them, inshallah. And we have the fifth student. We had to give him on Saturday a ban bones. We have to give him Saturday because Sunday he went, alhamdulillah, with his family to Umrah. So we had his give his certificate already on Saturday, inshallah. He's been making dua from, from there, bi'idnillah. May Allah bless him and his families as well. Jazakumullah khair, barakallah fikum. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless these kids and please make dua for them in, uh, in your sujood, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair, wa barakallah fikum.